Electron is back at it again. What is going on, peoples? I know I'm a little late on this news, and I usually try to tackle things when it comes out because I don't have the privilege to get stuff way before the pre-order or whatnot. I don't think hip-hop channels do get that kind of respect, but we'll talk about that a little later as that is a prerequisite of a rant that I have. But yeah, the pre-order nuts started on Wednesday. You know, everybody had their demonstrations and stuff like that. But the one that really stuck out to me was the Perfect Circuit audio demonstration by Basic. Basic is a synth god. He's a synth and drum machine god. He programs with the best of them. And I really do like his stuff altogether. Like I have a few of his beat tapes or whatnot. But nonetheless, Model Cycles which is an offshoot of the model samples, which I have this, and I think I should just go ahead and do a review on it, even though it's been out for quite a while. I, I just think it would serve justice because, again, there's no hip-hop representation when it comes to these hardware pieces. And I see that uh, there is a void to be filled, and I'm going to do that. But, yeah, the model cycles being an FM synthesis drum machine slash synthesizer is supposed to be a scaled-down version of the Digitone, and like this is supposed to be a scaled down version of the Digitech. Uh, one thing I do see that they're doing very well with this particular unit is the fact that they have it at $300 instead of $400 or something like that, which I always thought was a little bit outrageous that they would charge that much for what little it offers and the fact that their competition really starts at as low as $150 if you look at something like this right here, which is the Korg drum vocal drum all right here we go i'm holding it right now anyways let's talk about some of the inner workings of this machine because i want to show off the stuff that people may have glanced over in their demos and pre-order reviews or whatnot so let's do that it was at perfect circuit audio actually day one of the release when i saw the demo that basic did which was the best demo because everybody else's demo was ass was it was fantastic like i was like man like, I really want to get it. And it was available at $300, and I didn't get it on that Wednesday, and I'm very upset, and it sold out. So that should let you know of how special this unit is. I mean, the FM Groove Box, yeah, it's really, really special. I might go over here to Sweetwater.com and pre-order it again because I did like how they handled my MPC-1, and the guys over there do a great job. Shout out to Caleb over there at sweetwater.com. I think he did a fantastic job the way he handled the pre-order and let me know that it was coming and all that stuff. So we're at the official website of Electron right now and you can see a closer look of it. I mean, there's already videos of it because they already are nudging the hell out of everybody, but you know, it shares the same body as the model samples. If you're not into the model samples look, well, you're not gonna be into the look of this and I, I could deal with it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, you know, it's, pretty cool for customization features i know they comes with stickers and stuff like that as well it says model cycle six track fm based groove box scale angles and dense and jagged glide planes vast and fluid or sink into the mist of dissonance so i'm going to read more into this right now uh, define the formulas. The six machines of the digital FM engine are unique to the model cycles and cover both the percussive and melodic synths. And just that line alone, I mean, it's really good for the fact that they keep it simplified. I did see that, you know, one of the things about FM synthesis is, is it's extremely difficult to grasp and it's the way that FM synthesis works and usually how it's represented on screen, like even with some of the soft synths that are out there, is very difficult. That's why I think a lot of people like Serum when it comes to FM synthesis, because it's very simple, because you have the carrier modulator, and the UI is very simple. So we're looking at the back of the model cycles, and you can see it has the five volt DC uh, output jack, and then you also have the USB jack, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because it's been a second since I played with my model samples, that it has, a way of outputting audio via USB, which is really good. And also the jacks over here are eighth inch jacks to five pin dens as far as the MIDI in and MIDI out. But the different options that you have working via MIDI in and MIDI out is great because one thing I really liked is that you have the 
chance it to configure it to where you can mess with the six tracks at one time or you can configure where you work with one track and so therefore you get to play with the synth engine inside of there so if you have like the mpc one or the kai force you can actually play notes and stuff like that and it's really cool and of course on the front of it anyways you have some tactile buttons to where you can play with stuff well i don't know if they should be uh, considered tactile they're not really tactile tactile i think one of the smaller but bigger news is that they actually announced the power handle which is supposed to give it battery operation power and that is actually something that they should have did a long time ago with the model samples but nonetheless it's here and you know that just speaks volumes about their priorities but nonetheless i don't know what's going over there at electron and therefore if they can get it out and they promised it which there's no date for it yet then hopefully it will get out there and people will be able to travel and do stuff in that form factor if you want to do beats on the beach or some dumb shit so tell me how you feel about this because i definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section if you're digging it or whatnot um, I'm excited about it, but there's things that kind of bother me and it's not necessarily the model cycles. I'm a little tired of the fact that the hip hop representation on hardware is not represented very well. Again, there is a void that I've been filling with just my own pockets or whatnot, which I'm not saying I should be entitled to free gear or anything like that, but a review unit, being able to review it, there, there needs to be a massive perspective on it. I mean, I think that a lot of these companies just fill the void of where they think most people spend their money at as if hip hop is broke or something like that, or they just don't care or, or they don't look at people that look like me and have that kind of regard to that we actually like this type of gear. I know my opinion is probably gonna trigger certain people that watch my channel and I, and it just has to be said, I know a lot of people are going to be very upset, but I don't really give a damn at this point because I'm really tired of uh, being nudged by certain people that don't look like me, do the same music as me or whatever. And I don't think it's fair to any of the people that are aspiring that want to do stuff in the hardware world that doesn't see any appeal because they don't have people that look like them or do the same music as them or whatever. And that is very important because if it wasn't, then you wouldn't see any type of nudging from other companies where they have a universal palette of people. Prime example of universal palette of people, Native Instruments. And out of all due respect, it's been happening since the 80s. I mean, if you think about the genres like hip hop that, that spawned all of Akai's hype over the past couple of years, you would think that they would respect people in the hip hop community enough to where they will start to look in that direction of course akai actually started doing that and doing less of the celebrity nudge when it comes to the hip-hop community and start looking at guys like me that just aren't as big as maybe a primo or a young guru or or any of that not to say that akai has reached out to me because they haven't of course because i've been very critical but Nonetheless, though, I think Electron should actually look into the direction of hip hop producers. If you're going to show up to things like A3C that has a lot of quote unquote urban people there, uh, <laughs> then you should actually reach out to a bunch of urban people as well. Because obviously we have some type of interest in it and you want to be in our market as much as possible. So why not just give it a chance nonetheless i mean me speaking on something like this right now is not going to further better my chance of having a relationship with electron as when you are very critical in the open it seems like a lot of these companies regardless of my skin tone or how what type of genre i do they tend to ignore you a lot they will ignore you and act like you don't exist and continue to nudge with people that have a bigger following but even with that i look at it like I'm, my following is small but they're not as small and a lot of channels have grown because of companies that support them now it's difficult to compete with somebody that has all of these hookups and all this good stuff going on for them and their channel is growing rapidly and therefore they're also saving money because they can put back into the presentation of the content and other things as well. But nonetheless though, 
I'm going to keep on trying on this channel because that's the thing that I got to do. It, it, we can complain about this all day, every day. We're either just going to not buy it because they don't want to represent hip hop in a respectful manner or people that look like me in the community in a respectful manner. And we're just going to either have to start developing our own stuff or work with companies that actually give a damn.